Hey there, comic book friends! Gonna make this short and sweet, and now that I've said that, it won't be. This is What The View, where I talk about what's going on with me in my world of comics. It is Wednesday, comic book day. Of course, I don't get my comic books. I can get my comic books later because it is Wednesday. So tomorrow, I will be starting my journey to Emerald City Comic Con, where I will spend at least three days um, pouring over all things that are comics. So you won't hear much from me. And there will be no comic book roundtable. If there was a comic book roundtable this week, I'd be talking about um, the Image Expo, which was today, which I would have loved to have gone to, but I was having problems with the whole hotel arrangement kind of thing. Um, so didn't get to make it. Looks like it was pretty cool. Some really interesting announcements there at the, at the con. Um, if you want to know what those are, just type in your little address, um, www imagecomics.com or something along those lines and it'll pop up there. It should be the first thing that comes up and it shows all the list of announcement there. Uh, the cynical comic book reader in me goes, huh, I wonder how many of these comics we'll really see in this year. Um, you know, some of them I'm pretty sure we're going to see right away. You know, the Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips book, which will be a ongoing. Um, Brubaker has decided that he wants to get back into the monthly serial. Um, so he'll be telling that kind of a story. I'm super excited for that. Whatever the heck it is, it does not matter. Um, I'm sure it'll be brilliant as it always is. Um, you know, um, there's just a bunch, a bunch of books uh, announced. Most of them I have some curiosity in. Uh, most of them I think I will probably try um, out um, or take a closer look at as we get closer. Some Hickman books that I'm sure I'm gonna pick up. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's going to be some good stuff. I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'm even going to try. Um, but check that out. Like I said, I'm sure if I was doing it uh, a roundtable, I would be talking about that. If I wasn't in the process of packing my stuff up, I'd probably talk about it now. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to. So there's that. Um, don't have much to talk about as far as the whole comic book thing goes. Um, uh, had my nose to the grindstone the last couple days just trying to get stuff done so I would be ready to go to Emerald City Comic Con. I haven't cataloged any more damn comics so I'm still back in that corner corner over there that I was in I think the last time I showed you or maybe I was at the top of this corner. Anyway, I still got a whole bottom row to do uh, of cataloging comics but I got like I said the majority of what I needed to catalog I'm not too fearful of of buying extras of things because the stuff I'm looking at buying I think I already have catalog. This is the ridiculous stack of comics that I want to meet creators and have signed. Whether or not I'll actually get to all of them, yeah, whether I'll get them all signed or not, who knows. Um, some of these people will be hard to access, I think, and I just haven't decided exactly what my priority is as far as as far as that stuff getting signed. Um, the whole crew for Wicked and Divine will be there. I've have most of my books signed um, by Kieran Gillian, the writer of that whole thing, and and of Young Justice and and all that sort of stuff. Most everything is signed by him. Um, Jim McAlvey is uh, McAlvey, McAlvey. The artist is hard for me to get a hold of, um, so I don't have anything signed by him. So my goal is to get see if I can get him to sign stuff. We'll see. The lines for them are extremely long now. Um, they are definitely um, fan favorites um, at Emerald City Comic Con. They have an exclusive um, tour T-shirt, um, Persephone Lives T-shirt that I'm hoping to score. I can probably get that unless they all sell out really fast, um, because I can get that whenever whether the creators are not are there or not, there's always somebody there to sell that stuff. Um, they have a hardback, oversized, black and gold foiled hardback, deluxe of the first two trades, collected all in one book that's another um, kind of exclusive thing, uh, foiled in green. Mm, just don't know, do I want that in a big old hardback too? Haven't decided uh, on that. But I'm probably going to get the shirt, because, you know, me and comic book shirts. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm more about that. Um, I'm in my stack of books. I have some um, books that I want, um, um, you know, Sean Gordon Murphy to, to sign. That's probably a higher priority than, than the Wicked and Divine crew, um, solely because I own some um, Murphy art pages and I would really like to have him sign the comic that matches up to the um, page art that I um, I want to be a little more 
you know, important as far as that goes. Uh, some of these other ones are are um, not quite, I'm assuming, not going to be quite so crazy aligned, so I'll get to them. I've got three days that I'll just kind of mill along. I'll take some, uh, where I'm staying at is literally across the street from the convention. So I can leave some of them in my um, hotel room, or I will make Ethan, he'll have a backpack, he can carry them all. I usually have a messenger bag, and that's way too many bucks to haul around in a messenger bag. Um, but anyway, so I have this big old wad. I'm hoping to come home with three times this in back issues. We'll see if that really happens. We'll see what kind of deals I really get, and how hard I really hit that. Um, I've said no comic book art um, going to this Emerald City Comic Con. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> Don't know. Um, some of the artists that I kind of was secretly planning on buying some art from are not going to be at the con. They have had to cancel, so that's kind of a bummer. And I haven't gone online to see what kind of accessibility they have um, as far as is there somebody selling their art online. So who knows um, how that will all work out, what will actually come of it. Maybe I will just stick to the back issues and hang on to the rest of my money for... Um, some J.H. Williams um, art that I have a line on, but don't know if I really want to pull the trigger on buying it. I probably should, um, just because it's J.H. Williams artwork. And if I'm getting a piece that I really want. See, that's the new thing. i got to focus on that. Not just, not just get any old piece from a creator. Focus on getting the pieces you want, especially with the modern creators. Where, where most of their catalog is kind of out there um, and there's a larger opportunity to pick that stuff up and whatnot. Like the, um, the Murphy uh, page um, that I got, it specifically there was a specific page that I wanted to get. We were all sitting around reading The Wake year plus ago when it was out and literally am on a round table, um, probably a round table that um, Constant Bromstar was on. I think he was hosting at the time and literally said, I want this page, but if I can figure out how to get this page, I'm going to get this page. So that's the page that I got. So um, that's more the kind of focus, not just to kind of go, oh my God, here's this artist. Let's just buy some random page that doesn't have it. Some something in it that I want. Um, it's got to have a certain storytelling elements in it um, for me or have some other, you know, real significant, like if it's a character, for instance, or something like that, that I'm interested in. Um, if I can come across Doom Patrol pages, you know, I already have, I already have one. Um, those are kind of, if I, the more artists I can find Doom page, you know, Doom Patrol pages from, the better. Um, there's at least one art dealer there. There might be a couple art dealers. Actually, I know there's two art dealers, um, there, and I have purchased art from both those art dealers. Um, they are art dealers and is, is in, they represent artists that are producing works right now, um, which is awesome. Um, I think there might be another art dealer there who... It represents himself. I mean, he buys and then resells. That sort of a thing is how is how he operates and whatnot. Um, but now that my art collection is starting to get bigger, I'm I'm starting to get in a position where I own some pages that uh, multiple pages from certain artists, and maybe I can use those pages pages enunciate as leverage to get other pages that I want, you know, trade pages to get pages, or trade pages plus some money to get pages depending on what it is. So, anyway, all excited about all that, um, but hey, I'm supposedly not buying any comic book pages. We'll see what happens, like I said, though. Uh, excited to get going. Um, so, like I said, so I was going to make a short, and now I'm going to ramble. Um, super excited also to be there, because I know there's going to be other comic book friends there that I, that I want to talk to. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to, to uh, meet up with... Um, Funkmaster Celia, um, I know she's going to be there. Um, I, I figure I will go and, and hit the Funko Pop place. Not that I'm going to buy Funko Pops, but I hear that's where she's going to be living at to make sure she gets the Funko Pops that she wants. Um, so maybe I'll catch her there. If not, I've got Twitter. I can catch her on Twitter um, and and at least maybe get a picture with her, you know, so I can prove, hey, we actually met. Um, there's a bunch of Twitter people who have, who have hit me up to say, hey, this year let's make sure that... Um, we grab a coffee, a beer, share some comics, or whatever. So um, excited for all that. Also, um, so yeah, um, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, I hope to. I hope to shoot some videos while I'm there. I will try to post some videos while I'm there. I did so last year. It was tough though. The internet connection through the um, stupid um, um, hotel is not 
superb. So we'll see how that goes as far as that kind of stuff goes. Um, and um, um, yeah, um, if not else, I'll take pictures. I'll, I'll between those. You follow me on Twitter, and um, I'll hopefully I'll have some. Maybe this year I'll actually film some footage actually at the con and share it afterwards. We'll always see. No guarantees on that because that never works out. At any rate, as I said, have a great weekend, everybody, and I will catch you next week um, back with the usual stuff, plus some extras, I'm sure. Bye.